What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about the facade pattern. And the facade pattern is one of the most powerful and it's also pretty simple. It's not the most simple pattern, but it's up there and it, you're gonna see it everywhere. And it's a very um, useful too because it's just almost like a good concept to understand. And the way that I describe it, I kind of have like a really weird analogy for it. See, people seem to like my really weird analogies. And have you ever been, I don't know, about to cook some asparagus? Like I, I like asparagus a lot. It's just kind of like a weird thing that I've kind of like picked up as I've gotten older. I like, I've like started to really like asparagus and you buy asparagus in bundles and there's like that really satisfying like chop when you chop off like the nasty parts. There's like the nasty part. There's like the really tasty part. And then there's like the really nasty part, but you bundle them up and you put them in like this log thing and then you chop off the bottom of them. And it's just like this really satisfying, just like whoosh, as you chop them. So, that's kind of like what a facade is. So our classes are going to be like the asparagus. We have a pet we're, and these are totally, uh, it's another just fake classes. Like they're not even real, real. Uh, we're not gonna actually be building any type of network utility, but I've got these fake classes filled with fake methods and fake properties. And they're all rely on each other like they're they're almost like bundled together they they rely on each other in order for this you know network utility to execute for the chopping the execution is like the chop we have to bundle these together and they kind of have to execute in a certain pattern or they're not going to it's not or you're they'll execute still but you will have to make it very complicated so you kind of want a facade or like a rubber band to tie around them so that when you chop everything it's done so in a very clean chop as opposed to just having to go through and just you know chop 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 and that's kind of like the whole entire idea you have just like this one class that bundles together all of these uh classes right here so that when you do the chop it does so in a very clean fashion and it's not like a really like you know thing that you it's not you don't have to go through and chop them all at one time so we're going to go in here and we're going to go of course into our design patterns this is the other course i was working on we're going to go into here and we are going to type in the facade then going to make some fake classes i think we had one called packet and let me see here we had one called protocol socket okay so we had socket and then we had transmission so we had um socket and you could you could name these whatever you wanted to you don't even have to follow this networking convention this is just literally because i'm kind of like a networking nerd and i, I just like to make stuff like this so transmission and in order for this fake network utility to execute all of these things all the packet has to be created the socket has to be initiated and then the actual transmission has to occur and we're also going to toss in a couple just bogus properties we'll we'll just say this one prop and we're going to go id then we're gonna go down here, we're gonna have string. We have to pass in some kind of string for our fake data. Then we're gonna go down here. Then we're gonna go string. Then we're gonna go IP. And literally put in here anything that you want to. And then here, remember when I was talking about when this executes, we have to have certain things that happen and one of these certain things that have to happen is the constructor has to be initiated with certain types of da data so in here we have to initialize the pa the fake packet with an ip then we go down here and we're just going to say public and packet built just to simulate this uh packet that's not really real being built then we go down here and we're gonna just add a console write line so that when we run this, we can actually see this occurring. Okay, socket. Uh, let me see, just more 
just fake data. So in here we've got IP. Then we're gonna go down here and sockets have a port, so we'll put a port. Then we'll go down here, they have a string, they have a protocol. Then they go down here, and once again, And you probably don't even need to have this constructor here, but we're just gonna do this because it's really illustrative to what the facade pattern is really all about. And once we get to the the chop, once we get to where the knife chops off all the nasty parts of the asparagus, you will understand like exactly what I mean. So just kind of bear with me here until we can get through this. So, and then we're gonna have just the build socket. Then the transmission, um, we'll go int ID, then we'll go down here, we'll have string, and we'll just put a name, and then we'll initialize it with the string protocol name, and this dot, this dot name is equal to protocol name. Then we go to here, and we're gonna go build protocol, or build, let's call it, eh, we'll call this send transmission. I don't think a transmission is really built. Maybe it is, but console.writeline send transmission. Okay, so we've got all of our fake um, classes here. Then what you do is if we came in here and we didn't have a facade, like what we would have to do is we would have to come in and add all this data individually and we would have to, you know, new up every, sing every single one. And the whole idea of a facade pattern is that we just put a facade in here we bundle up remember the asparagus we bundle them all up so the networking facade or what the facade is going to be the rubber band that's going to tie all these classes together so we go network facade then we go down in here and all we do is we go private Got, so we've got our packet and we're gonna go ahead and just put our packet right here so that that looks good and I think I think that's right so private then we're gonna have our socket it's gonna be socket then same exact thing so socket and then we have our transmission then our transmission down here then I'm gonna CTOR and what we're gonna do is go into this packet and we're gonna instantiate them inside here. So packet is equal to new dot packet. And that's gonna be, we have, okay. And this is an important part about the constructor, the constructor that I was telling you. So we're gonna go in here, then we're gonna go socket. This dot socket is equal to new socket. And then this dot transmission is equal to new transmission and you see we're getting red lines here because we need to pass in all of this data so we need to pass in our string of IP so we've got our IP right here then we need to pass in our protocol string so string protocol then we need to pass in our protocol name and I spelled that wrong actually I'm gonna go back and spell that right so protocol name so and I think we can actually we can these are actually the same thing so I guess it's actually elegant that we can just toss in the protocol for both of these so protocol and then the packet is the IP 
Then we can go down here, and this is like the even more powerful part. This is like this is like probably the best part. So we'll go build network layer, and we can go in here just like this, and then we can go into packet and packet built, and we can just go ahead and instantiate all this stuff in here. So build socket. I apologize for that. So build socket right here. And then we're going to go transmission dot send transmission, which I guess isn't technically part of the build network later, but um, good enough for now. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys are kind of getting like what's going on and getting the picture. And that's kind of the most important point. And then here we can just put send network or I'm trying to think send packet over network then we come in here and actually we could probably just put this here ooh that's good that's even better so we go build network layer then we can send the packet send okay then we come in here transmission dot send transmission and that works that's actually even better so all you would do is then you would go into your or your instantiate or wherever you plan on you know putting this thing come in here you go network facade and then network facade is equal to new network facade and instead of having to new up every single one like that you would just uh, put in both your strings, so you would have IP and then we have our protocol so we'd have our IP which I don't know maybe we'll put just fake DNS and then the protocol name we will send we'll make this UDP <laughs> and let's see network facade then we also have access to all those little methods in there let me see. There we go. And then we would build our network layer. Then come in here, send packet over the network. And we have a way more abstracted, and this is where the knife chops like the actual asparagus. So we're going here. It's going to build all of that stuff in there for us so we don't have to go in and do everything individually. It's going to go through here. It's going to build all of our objects for us. And it's going to, now we've got a nice little object we can play around with. We've got a nice little bundle of asparagus that we can eat. <laughs> we come in here. It's, we're going to build our network layer. And of course, it's not going to work because the, debu the, the debugger doesn't work very well with the console for some reason. So I guess we're just going to kind of have to assume that it works. But let me just see here. Yep. As you can see, packet built, build socket, and build socket, and then we send the transmission, and everything is working. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned a lot about Facade. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.